Hi everyone! How is everybody doing today? So I am sitting here with a box that I got from MacPherson's and it is a cute little preemie baby girl kitten here and I seen her and I fell in love and she's so tiny and oh my gosh guys I'm just like head over heels in love with this doll. It's been a while since I put any kind of new you know, every time I get something new from um, McPherson's or something, or Bountiful Baby, whatever the case may be, I, I usually don't show them. And I had to show her because I'm in love with this doll. Now, whether she will be for sale, I am not sure. I may keep her in my own collection. But I'm going to tell you this right now, that I have an Etsy shop. It only has three babies on there. I just now got the Etsy shop uh, open. It has three reborn babies on there. It has the Ollie, the Reiki, and the Maya kits. Um, they're completely done. I knocked those babies to $100 a piece. Uh, and shipping is on, on you guys. Um, but they were the three first babies that I did when I started reborning. So now it's been almost a year and a half and I could see my skills have gotten a lot better. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with these dolls. I think for my first three dolls they came out amazing. Um, so I think they would make a great little Christmas gift for you know a little boy or a little girl that wants a baby. Um, for a hundred dollars for a reborn is crazy insane because you just don't find that. Um, so I wanted to let you know that out on Bella Bean Reborns on Etsy.com, I have three babies, $100 a piece, and plus shipping. So go check those out, guys, if you're looking for a baby. I think they're all really super cute. I just now, after a year, over a year, a year and a half, have improved on my painting skills, and that's what happens. And I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with my painting skills. Those three babies were amazing. When I first made those three babies... Uh, I was like blown away. I couldn't believe that I painted them. Like, I painted them. I, I, I can't believe that. And so they are really super cute, but I need to get them out of my nursery because I'm adding more babies and I'm running out of room. So I decided to go ahead and put them out there. So guys, go take a look. Bell Bean Reborns at Etsy.com. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know about this kit. Uh, like I said, I got it from MacPherson's. They gave you like little things that they sell, and hopefully this lighting's okay. I'm working with uh, daylight, natural light from my window. Hopefully it's okay. And excuse the voice because I have really bad allergies, and it's going in and out and doing all kinds of weird stuff. So they just gave you a little pamphlet saying thank you for your support, and they're talking about the vinyl kits may arrive, you know, um, and they want you to check it over, make sure they're not flawed. You can bring it back. They know, they tell you what to do. Um, if there's anything wrong, you could put them in a pot of boiling water. Anyways, it gives you instructions to try to solve the problem before you, you know, contact them. And then this you don't need to see because that is my <laughs> receipt. But I'm going to show you who this baby is. Let me take it out of the package, the plastic, so you can see it better. If I can get the plastic package open. But I'm in love with her, guys. She is a little preemie. And here you go. Her name is Aria. And it is by Toby Morgan. She um, is a 2016 um, kit. So she's a little bit older. You know, three years older. But I found her, and I'm like, I love her. I think she's super, super cute. Um, so I, I have to show you. Now, this kit also came with a little belly plate, and it came with a body. Or did I pay extra for the body? Let me see. I can't remember. But look at her face, guys. I just want to show this to you up close. If you could see. Can you see her face? Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. So, um... I can't remember. I think I may have bought the body on this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I did buy the body on this one. Sometimes they come with the bodies. Sometimes they don't. This one, I did buy the body. Um, 
I'm almost sure about the body. It doesn't really say on here. It just tells me how much I paid, but it doesn't break it down if you um, if you need a body or not. Yeah, it's probably added into the kit as I see my price. So I did probably pay for the body, but I wanted to show you guys because usually when I get kits in, I don't show you. And I'm so excited about her, I can't stand it. <laughs> so um, to me, I look like I'm going blue a little bit. I hopefully am not. Um, but anyway, so here's her little body. So now you can see how small she is. She may look big right there. It may look big because we are filming, but this body is like super small. It's so tiny. I couldn't even tell you how big it is. Um, I don't know. Her body's probably about one, two, three, four, maybe about, I don't know, six, six inches long, eight inches long. She's got a small body. And you see what I'm talking about when I show you the rest of her. But look at these limbs. Oh my gosh. Look how small. They are so tiny. And she's got like a little fisted. She's got her little pinky up there. And then she's got one that's curved underneath. Her thumb is underneath her um, top finger. Oh, she's so cute. But look how little. These limbs are so tiny. Um... Let's see, where's her other arm? Let me get her other arm. It's stuck behind her head. Um, so that's the one arm. And then this is the other arm. This is the inside. She's got another fisted with a thumb. So it almost looks like she can suck her thumb. But, oh my gosh, I have got some really detailed painting. Because those little fingers are so skinny and so small. But, oh my gosh, this hand, look at this. That's how small it is. Now you can kind of visualize how small it is. It's my hand. So it's like, look at how tiny she is. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then here are her legs. Oh, look at these toes. Look at those toes. Oh my gosh, they're like separated. She's got a separated toe. She can wear sandals. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. Isn't that crazy? She can wear sandals. But she's got cute like little kind of chunky, little bits of chunky there. Oh, she's really super cute. Um, there's a little something on there. It was nothing. But yes, uh, they always tell you to check over the kit. So I will be checking this more thoroughly than I am now. But here is her other foot. And like I said, it's super cute. And it's, it's also separated. Um, these two are together. This one's separated. So I don't have too many kits where I have separated toes. But oh my gosh. Cute. There's her little chunk chunk. <laughs> so she's super cute and then she has a little bitty body plate now look at the size of this body plate guys isn't that cute oh my gosh look at how look how tiny that is she's got the little bitty belly button oh this is so cute because that's really small for belly plate <laughs> and I can't wait I may actually do the belly plates I usually don't do belly plates because I don't like the way that they feel I think they feel a little bit too hard with the belly plates on, but I'm going to probably do it anyways and use it when I want to. But here she is, guys, the back of her head. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, can you see that face? Oh, she's so adorable. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the wrinkles underneath her chin. Look at all that. She's got all those little creases underneath her chin. But look at that face. Oh my gosh, is she not the cutest? Oh, and she's so tiny. I can't tell you how small. I think she is, um, I don't want to say. I don't know if it's on here or not. I don't want to say the wrong information. Oh, 18 inches. So she's 18 inches unfinished. So... She's about 18. By the time she's finished, she might be 18, might be 19 inches. But I did get the um, body that does go to her, so she could be completed and be 18 inches. So she is my new preemie, uh, Aria, I think is how we say her name. Aria. And that's what she looks like when she's painted. And I am so excited to get this kit, guys. You have no idea. I've been waiting and waiting. I'm like, when is it coming in? needs to hurry up. <laughs> but I will be starting on her sometime after, um, I'm going to say 
I know it's going to kill me because this is just October. I might try to paint her a little bit, but I don't know. I've got so many things, so many cards and things that I need to make for relatives that I'm going to be sending out, uh, family members and stuff, and I'm going to be really busy making the cards in between trying to make my dolls. And I really want to take my time with her. Um, I really want to get the coloring right. And I may even get a shot at rooting her hair. And I only rooted one doll before and it came out pretty good. Um, but now I know more about rooting. Um, or I may paint her hair. I'm not sure. Um, I love rooted hair on my dolls. But they also are somewhat... Um, you have to be really careful. Because they, they come out... You know, if you keep brushing and messing with it... And it, it tends to sometimes pull out, even though we put tons of glue inside here to keep it from coming out. You just have to be so careful. And sometimes just painted hair, for me, personally, is sometimes better than the rooted stuff. And then you have to pay a lot more for this doll if it gets rooted. And if I end up selling her, um, which I don't know, I'm so in love with her, so I don't know whether I'll be selling her or not, but... Um, with painted hair, she probably will... I can't even tell you how much she's going to run. With rooted hair, it's another $300. So say she was a $400 doll, you're looking at $700. So um, when you do painted hair, you know, you might be looking at about $450, somewhere around there. Um, so, you know, yeah, it depends on whether you want to do the whole rooted situation. But like I said, you know, rooting the hair does break off sometimes. Not always. If you don't mess with it too much, if you just kind of rub your hand across it, you know, and fix the hair that way. But if you keep combing it and brushing it and doing all that stuff, I mean, you're going to eventually have breakage. So, um... Not against rooting. I have rooted dolls, guys. You know I have rooted dolls. You know I have rooted silicones. And then I also have a, um, two, I have one bald. Do I have one or two? One bald silicone. And I love them just as much. Whether they're rooted or whether they're not rooted, I love them. I'm just letting you know that things can happen with rooted hair. If you're looking for a rooted doll, just be very, very careful. And then if you want painted hair and it doesn't matter... We'll see how it goes. So I don't know, guys. I think because her head is so small, I might try to root her. Uh, so I'm not real sure at this point. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you her because I'm in love with her. And I can't wait to get painting with her, which may be a little while. But uh, I'll try to keep myself from not <laughs> painting her while I'm trying to do my cards. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyways, guys... Uh, thanks for coming out here today with me and spending a little bit of time so I can show you my new uh, project that I will be painting here very soon. And I hope everybody is doing great and having a blessed day. And make sure, guys, I tell you this all the time and you're probably so sick of hearing me, but make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, and um, you know, hit that notification bell so you can see all my future videos. So anyways, guys, I will send you guys off with well wishes. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye!